Uh, hi there, I'm James Marvin from uh, Red Brick Gaming here with um, Imri, uh, one of the members of the Sniper Elite team. Um, so starting off with the most obvious difference from the previous instalment and from V2 of course. You know in V2 we were going around like the Berlin battlefield and in 3 around Africa. Um, obviously in 4 we're going around the uh, it Italy mountains and all that sort of stuff. Um, and from what I've just seen in there and other previous fields, it does look stunning. Um, so why did you guys at Rebellion decide to make the decision to go back to Europe in Italy and not somewhere else, for instance? Well, there was a lot of different areas considered for where the next area of the campaign could, could take place. And uh, after some consideration, uh, we chose Italy. Um, I, I, in my opinion, it was one of many good choices and I'm very happy with it. So. Um, it's, it's good for the team generally to, to choose a location which has such a um, lot more variety because in Sniper 3 uh, the desert environment obviously didn't give us the opportunity to have that many variations and definitely different environments. Um, so how exactly does the new locale like affect the design of the games? Obviously, um, you know, the desert of Africa quite flat. Um, Berlin, obviously very city-based, Italy, mountains, verticality. So are there any major differences in how Italy affects the like level design of the game at all? Well, um, I work in the user interface, so I, I wasn't really part of the, that, those decisions that were made on, on levels. But from my understanding, the, uh, obviously the, uh, the fact that the seaside, the mountainous and the city environments can be combined and kind of interchanged in various for various locations makes it much more interesting and makes it um, also much more opportunity to create exciting level layouts and exciting environments. There's also a lot of uh, internal environments as well uh, where you move around inside structures, which is uh, also very much fun. Uh, so, if you work on the user interface as well, like what kind of major changes or any any changes there are uh, have you made to that to make it like you know a better experience for four over three? Well, uh, we completely rebuilt the menus for 4 uh, based on the experience we got from uh, previous games of the series. And um, uh, some stuff like, for example, the, uh, the sniper scope is something we are definitely proud of. It's a major visual improvement from the previous game and uh, I hope the players will appreciate it. Um, next question is, uh, so some feedback from the previous game was like, obviously the story and characters weren't like a bit weaker. Um, do you know how, like, in the fourth game, how you're going to combat the criticism and make like the narrative and the characters more to the forefront, and obviously, you know, um, a better experience overall for users, basically. Well, a lot more emphasis was placed on on the characters themselves, and I I believe that we have a lot stronger character lineup, um, a lot more interesting storylines as well associated with the characters, and the players will be able to interact with those characters in a, in a much more personal way than in Sniper 3. So it's, it's no longer just about Carl, uh, but it's about Carl and his friend's journey. Yeah. Yeah. And I think you can definitely see that obviously from the pre-release music that I've um, seen into it. Yeah, it definitely does seem like you have put more emphasis on that kind of area, which is good. Um, and of course a big question in everyone's mind is the kill cams, which Sniper Elite is of course pretty much famous for. Um, have you added any new ones? Obviously because obviously you know, you're we're quite into a life cycle of like next-gen consoles. You know, how has that affected the uh, like kill cam system? Well, obviously the kill cam has uh, has been greatly improved in Sniper 4. Um, there's a whole new layer added with like the artery system and kind of soft tissue simulation, which uh, which looks amazing. And the other major feature we added is that now you have melee kills with uh, with also kill cams, where you have like X-ray vision of somebody like punching or knifing somebody uh, else uh, out of oblivion. So it's it's pretty nice. Yeah, when I was playing this in there, I saw one where like literally I stabbed the guy in the chest and like severed all of the arteries in the heart. So like. Um, um, so the detail of that, is that all like actually atomically correct or is it like... Um well, as, as close as we could make it uh, and obviously as you, as you experienced it, it's, uh, it kind of, it, it, it doesn't feel like much when, you, when you're told about it, but when you experience it and play through it, it's, it's a very um, uh, uh, dynamic and, and uh, effective experience. Um, so um, another question is like, uh, you guys have been noted as stating that the AI has uh, vastly improved since uh, the last installment of the series, like 3 and 2. Uh, can you go into more detail about exactly what kind of changes have happened to make the AI a bit more like reactive and dynamic to the player's actions? Well, uh, the AI has been completely rebuilt for this game and uh, we made 
massive changes on how uh, the interactions happen between the player and and the AI. And um, it, it's to be honest, it, it's way too complex for me to go into detail details. But you just play the game, and uh, the result is that you feel like the characters, the AI is alive when when you when you ha do an action to attract yourself, your attract their attention. Uh, they react in a much more believable way um, and uh, sometimes just much more fun to play through um, and you don't feel uh, as uh, detached from the AI as before uh, which, which is a major achievement and it just makes the game world a lot more alive. Uh, and obviously you guys are bringing back in the co-op modes and the multiplayer modes from 2. Yes. Um, have you got any word on like, what kind of modes we can see, what kind of like, you know, maybe maps, how it, how it exactly all works and all that sort of thing? Well, uh, all, the, all the favorite multiplayer modes have come back. The, the entire campaign can be played as co-op as well. Uh, we kept Overwatch, uh, which, is, which was a fan favorite multiplayer mode, which is an asymmetrical mode where one player plays as a sniper and the other player plays as an operative, who kind of, they kind of help each other out. Um, that's, uh, there are custom levels built for that experience, so it's a, it's a very it's a very cool thing. And also, survival comes back as a cooperative mode, uh, which is a wave based uh, kind of live as long as you can kind of mode, uh, which we um, improved. Uh, hopefully in many ways the players will appreciate. Uh, so you mentioned obviously this co-op campaign. Um, what kind of mechanics are added or changed in a co-op campaign compared to a single player? Well. Um, it's a pretty straightforward uh, experience. Uh, you join up with your with your mate and kind of play the level together. And um, the story doesn't change much uh, in a sense, but it's a much more immersive experience and it changes the tactics a lot because obviously two players can complete an objective in very different ways than one player. You can employ tactics that are not possible when you're playing alone, which makes uh, alternate completions of certain objectives uh, a very interesting opportunity. Yep. Uh, and I guess just one final question about the actual game play mechanics itself is are there any like weapons or gadgets that we can employ to obviously help us get through the levels and stuff and uh, can it expand how a player can approach a uh, level in different ways? Uh, yeah, I mean the levels are much larger than in Sniper 3 and there's uh, multiple routes. Uh, a lot more multiple routes than we had previously uh, because of the, the level size increase we're allowed to make a much more open world and uh, the player can use uh, some of the old uh, items that were available in Cyber 3 but we have some new ones as well which uh, which provide very interesting uh, game mechanics for players to explore if they'd like to um, we also place great emphasis on the, on the different playstyles, so sniper heavy approach and stealth heavy, melee heavy approaches both work in certain, in certain occasions, but you uh, get the best results if you kind of like mix and match to the, uh, to the particular challenge. That's been great, thank you very much for that. Uh, so that was Imri from Sniper Elite 4. Uh, can you just tell us what platform is coming out on and the, ex the exact release date for Sniper Elite 4 when it releases? It's February 14th and it's coming out on the Xbox One, the PS4 and the PC. So that's great. Thank you very much. Uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And we'll see you in the next video. And for more EGX coverage, subscribe to Rebel Gaming. Thank you.